Okay. Hi, I'm Andy, and I have entirely too many clothes to be living in a school bus, but I made it work. So I wanted to show you guys how I did it. And yes, I got rid of a lot of clothes before I moved in here, but I still have a lot left. So I wanted to show you my organizational closet space slash vanity area slash office um, at the back of my school bus. So. Hi, I'm Andy Lee. I'm a filmmaker, actress, stagehand, single mom. So I just bought a bus and schoolie owner. Okay. Ready to go. It's alive. <laughs> Living in Wichita, Kansas. Ten points. Give the dismount a ten out of ten. Here you can follow my journey as I transform a 2001 Chevy Bluebird school bus into the tiny home of my dreams. You can also catch some stories of the interesting people and places I find along the way. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. And welcome to Wonderlust Odyssey. So, this is the back door. Uh, I just have it covered, you know, by a blanket that's held up by some magnets. And I have my office space and vanity area where I can get ready in the mornings. And this is the closet that I built. It is two and a half feet wide. And I've got, honestly, just a lot of clothes fit in here in this little two and a half foot space. So up here, I got this metal shelf. Um, you can see how it attaches. I got that from Lowe's and then I just put these little bins up here for, um, we have like swimsuits and stockings and socks and underwear up there. And then down here, I have, <laughs> probably like way too many clothes, but Kansas has four seasons in one week. So I have bralettes and like crop top style shirts that don't need to be hung up. T-shirts, sweaters. Back here is just like regular bras. I don't really wear that much. <laughs> Um, and then, you know, I put dresses on one side because they're longer and then shirts and skirts and pants. Um, actually, there's no pants in here. Yeah, on that side. And then, as you can see, belts and purses. So, moving under the bed, I built a lot of under the bed storage um, because I wanted to fit my dog kennel, which is back there and I accessed it from the other side. So I have this Rubbermaid storage thing that has all my jeans in one drawer and overalls. Then I have 
these like colored pants or any pants that were not jeans but that were not pajamas and then shorts in the top and then I have even more t-shirts over here which is ridiculous but I used to work as a stagehand and so we had to have black t-shirts to wear to work so I went ahead and you know kept all of those assuming that big shows start back up again and I can be a stagehand again and then just like shirts for working out or working on the bus whatever and then I have a few long sleeve shirts like um you know this I don't know what that's called long underwear style material yeah <laughs> okay and then in more baskets here are tank tops and um pajama shorts you know like fabric shorts that I wouldn't really wear in public but like they're good for just hanging out in and my dirty laundry basket and there's still plenty of space there for me to put my feet while I'm working on my laptop and then one more this long under the bed storage bin has like leggings pajama pants and these like harem pants style. Basically, I labeled it as comfy pants. So yeah, there is my uh, ridiculous amount of clothes. And I also have this pile of like, oh, uh, I don't know what these would be called. These things, you know, that I haven't figured out what to do with yet. So they're just there for now. But yeah, that's my space. Sabrina. Well, that was my cat. I wanted to show you guys my favorite little hangout spot in the bus. Right here on the floor by my back door. So, there's my closet. And uh, this is where I like to hang out and eat breakfast and work on editing. So, it's pretty cozy. Good morning everyone. I've officially been living in my bus here at the RV park for a week now. So I thought I would give a little update and let you see my space. Ta-da! Here it is. And the view I wake up to every morning. I've got, you know, a nice cozy pile of tapestries and blankets and Christmas lights and laundry <laughs> and then I can look up out of this ceiling hatch if I want check out the weather get some fresh air I don't know that's oh there we go and then you know I can always look out my windows over here Pretty peaceful. 